Supreme Court Judge Justice Andrea Thomas has ruled that dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel and two of his three co-accused should remain behind bars pending the decision of the Court of Appeal. Vibes Cartel to plead guilty otherwise he will get a retrial was the advice given. You know what, let's jet into this story. Welcome to JET. So first and foremost, before we get into the advice given to Cartel to plead guilty or a subsequent retrial, give thanks to Yahweh and Yahushua. Yes, man. Recently, Cartel's lawyer, Isat Buchanan, filed and failed to get him freed. Dion, Dion, good afternoon. Can you just tell us, sum up for us uh, what happened um, in court and why the men were not released? Okay, well, I'm actually, um, the judge left the courtroom just a short while ago. I'm actually waiting to get a written copy of the judgment because she gave quite a, a detailed breakdown of her reasons. As you said, in short, Cartel and his co accused will not be released before the Court of Appeal has decided whether there's going to be a retrial or not. So the, the judge looked at a number of issues. She started out by looking at the issue as to whether the decision of the Privy Council that their convictions had been quashed and that the Court of Appeal was to decide on a retrial, did that translate into an order for them to be released? And she, she decided that that did not, in fact, so translate. She looked at whether or not the appeal had been determined, and her decision was no, the appeal has not finished. It is not going to be finished until the Court of Appeal makes its final decision. Since the appeal has not been determined. Therefore, she said that the men are, in fact, being held lawfully in custody because the Commission of Corrections has not received any order from any court to release them. She looked at the issue of whether the charges remain and decided that, yes, the charges are still valid. So the men are still charged. Having looked at that, she then looked at whether, in fact, they would be eligible for bail. Although Jet believed the order to quash the conviction should have freed them pending the Court of Appeal on June 10, Jet interpreted the order incorrectly based on the recent court decision on the habeas corpus application. Jet will now explain what the current situation is and will be. But before Jet gets to this explanation, it needs to look at the advice given to Cartel to make a plea deal by two experienced people. Jet also has a wild card surprise coming up, so stay tuned. Two experienced men state that the best outcome for Cartel is for him to take a plea deal. I know that legal system, man. I'm not no lawyer. But I have enough, I have more experience in that legal system than some lawyers. That me I make her know. You see? I mean, know how the system that operate, whether it's here in Jamaica or over foreign. On this one, man, on this one, take my foolish advice, youth. Take the f plea, work it out if you can. I know Jamaica and them pleading and I like foreign. You see? So I don't even know if you can get a plea, but if you if you lie, you should be able to. If you lie, them can work it out. And the thing is, can you get a free a, a, a fair trial here like that? Do you, do you wanna leave it to that type of chance? Listen to me, my I'm telling you, listen to this key thing what I gotta tell you, right? Ain't none of your fans gonna be in that jewelry um, box. Ain't no Gaza head gonna be sitting up in that jewelry box. Just lick that in your head. You see me? There is no die-hearted fan of yours or Gaza head who's going to be chosen to go sit in that jewelry box. Just remember that. Sir Q has the experience as he once was in his shoes and say you need to take a plea deal. Big up Sir Q, check out him video them. He also has said you better act before your co-defendant do so, otherwise your goose cook. Next thing I say your co eat them for crack and talk by you and flip by you. One way out now.
And that's the plea. Mm -hmm. Don't let your co-defendant them beat you to it. See, that's what another comment then say. They scared your code. Your codies might beat you to it. You understand? And decide to tell first. And if they do that, if any one of them beats you to it, you done. Sir Q, I said, the plea deal may mean you have to plea guilty and rob another five years, making it 18. And this is the best option for him. Some time for your actions. Learn your lesson. Go on back a road. Somebody might learn from your situation. You made you, you, my nigga, made the mistake. You just accept that. You see, once you accept that, my nigga, you will see your case in a whole different light. But accept that first. You did some. You. Your situation, your life, and the life of your co defendant, Sean Storm, and all. You f they life up, my. And just look into you. It's not the system. Not the system. Bring y'all the attorneys together and y'all plot this shit out to get a f plea deal. Okay? Instead of you getting 30, whatever the lights out. You might be able to end up with something like an 18 or something, yo. You know? You got 13 in already. You understand? You know, you hit him with another five. Jaboni, I said the same thing. I don't want to be building up also an Asak Bokana. But I'm trying to figure how... How context matter in terms of the things that he do and whose money is being wasted because ever the Privy Council had rule once it did not say release cartel then it, the ruling amount to nothing I already explained to you all that Lizard is dead. The cartel was found guilty. And no challenge at any time was mount regarding the evidence. Therefore, the evidence is sound. Jaboni, big up yourself, yeah. You can check out his videos as well. Cartel's team challenged the phone evidence, so Jet believe you wrong on that, Bunny. But the Privy Council said that is for Jamaica to decide. So, them send it back. I have explained that Cartel should take or seek a plea deal. And everyone at the time Tell my old man, shut up where you know your time at different time. This and that. And ruling of the writ is a clear indication now that cartel cannot free. It is clear that retrial is what's going to take place. And a retrial gonna end the same way as the previous trial. Because the only thing they're gonna do that is different now is seek a new jury or a new trial of facts. Why it looked bad for such man. But before Jet made its assessment, it looks at if any dog, cat, rat have something to say about the case. Yeah, man, woman a ball. I yeah. love the youth is a shame. But they are We're free, no man. We're free. Even fish, 
No, me not talk about them fish there, but that one, yeah. Go see a ball. Go on my yeah, yeah, go wash your curtain. Go and go wash your curtain. Cause you know, those back up in that light traffic. Go yeah, your ball. It better cartel steer which part in there and fight for come out. What are we a cartel little grave I call him? Wow, it's shit border. I mean, fish border. I say, what sir Q was saying? I say yo, a million bullets are weird people when them come on road. I can't get his name right and I don't want him to chase me. So let's call him comedian. Can't tell the grave, I call him, can't tell the system I fight against him, make yourself comfortable upon the street. Go on reason with ninja man. Everybody at all go free, can't tell, can't tell, I rather you stay there. You live longer, you live longer. One thing you can't fight system, deeper than this cartel, and I just lizard. Stay with the cartel, you live longer. You're you gonna live so till sickness carry you home, than them set up your life. Now make them set up your life, do. So when the whole of them town and the woman are ball, go wash out the dirt out of your curtain, ma'am. So, the comedian believe it's best for such man to, to stay in a locker. So, the Privy Council ruling was twofold. One, to quash the 35 years conviction, but leave the charges intact until the Court of Appeal decide after June 10 if we free them. So, it was conditioned on, on the remaining charges. He cannot continue to do thir the 35 years, but still charged for the murder of clive lizard williams if the court of appeal decided on a retrial which jet believe will be the case then we suspect his lawyers may file for bail ex-prisoners bonnie and sir q said cut a deal fisher say i mean comedian him fist a prison him safer but is a plea deal on the table in a retrial jet believes unlike bonnie and sir q there will be no jury but a judge-led trial many would not want the chief justice brian sykes to to preside over it given the debacle in the clans black man trial except many believe i sat the chief justice justice sykes and i always have to big him up so what is your view so what you say is it time for him to cut a deal if one is available because a retrial is imminent or would you agree with the fish to stay at prison write your comments below man and let's have a discussion about this for those of you who've forgotten to subscribe you know please touch the like button smash the subscribe button and touch up the bell and remember to share with your friends and family so here we are going now we are gonna jet off you know